Hello there, my beautiful Libra friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings every week. Now, Libra, Spirit has a special message they want me to share with you through my cards today. So what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with a guardian angel or Oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck, and then an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Libra, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that you're meant to hear today. So we are getting for you rest. It's time for you to rest a little bit, Libra. So let's read the message of this card. Let rest be a consistent practice in your life. Create regular pauses and give yourself time to nurture your inner world. By doing so, you establish a sturdy foundation of well-being and inner harmony. So once again, let rest be a consistent practice in your life, Libra. Create regular pauses and give yourself time to nurture your inner world. By doing so, you establish a sturdy foundation of well-being and inner harmony. So it's time for you to start taking care of yourself, Libra. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of flowers around some of you that's coming through the cards image here and uh, a beautiful lacy floral dress here, uh, colors pink as well. So we're starting here with the High Priestess. We've got something that is revealing itself and this is something that is coming through uh, your subconscious mind, your conscious uh, energy here. And what's happening is this is the part of you that needed to come out uh, for a very long time and I feel that there's communication happening with, between yourself and your higher self and, and spirit. Okay, so you're going to see signs around you. This is a transformation of yourself. And um, let's pull some other cards and see what else is coming in because I feel something is developing here with this card. Now, this is a major arcana card, so the energy is going to be prominent. However, it's in the background. So some of you are going to feel this intensely while others you're going to feel this subtly. So we have two of cups. You're being put into alignment with something or someone, Libra. Okay, we've got a path that is opening up with this other energy that is present there. And what's happening here is this may feel like it's a coincidence in your life. There may be an event or someone that entered your life that feels like a coincidence, but in fact, it's actually a synchronicity. Okay, we've got an alignment that is meant to happen in your life. So that's the Two of Cups. And we have the Knight of Wands. So this is you taking action. This is you seeing things a little bit more clearly, but also seeing things that perhaps you didn't see before. And what I'm getting here is you're actually taking action and being a participant in the co-creation of your life and everything that you dream to be in your reality, okay? So I also want you to use your own intuition with my readings, Libra. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So look at that. We've got a lot of movement. You're going to see a lot of progress. Uh, a lot of things happening here for you Libras. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're getting the number two. So you've got double twos in your deck here in your spread. Um, so some of you might be seeing twos around you. This is coming in as a confirmation right now and also the number 12. Okay, also two, 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 two and 12 together in that sequence. All right, two, two, one, two is also coming through here is what Spirit is saying here. Before I begin here, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Libra. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. 
All right, we've got this two of um, cups here. It's really interesting because we got a beautiful flow, a flow that has um, come in from a joining of force, forces, a joining, a union, something that has collaborated. Now it's spreading, it's expanding, okay? So um, we've got an alignment, and this is what they want me to talk about here is the two of cups. There's some sort of an alignment happening, and I feel this has been happening for some of you for a while now. There's something here working in the background for you. So remember, we've got the high priestess here. There's a lot of communication with spirit, your higher self. And I feel for a lot of you, this alignment, this connection is actually between you and your higher self. Now, for some of you, there's also someone that is entering your life. Now, this could be a soulmate, a twin flame energy. This could be even a kindred spirit. But there's an alignment of someone that is coming into your life where the presence of them, the energy of them is going to impact your life in a way that um, is actually going to expand your energy, okay? There's a lot that you're going to learn from this person as well. A lot this person is meant to learn from you. So there's a, you know, this, this connection isn't happening just for you. It's also happening for them. So I'm picking up on two stories here. One of this person and one of your story. So really interesting. So I'm getting colliding of energies and an intertwining and then an expansive energy that, that press pushes outward. But they're saying presses outward. Um, this is really interesting how this is coming up. But what's happening here is you're going to experience a lot of success through the experience of this connection, through this connection because it's going to help you grow, right? It's going to help you evolve. And for some of you, there is no timeline to this relationship, this connection. Now, for others, I'm getting little bits and pieces of you um, connecting with your higher self as you're moving through your journey. And what's happening here is your higher self is letting you know, you know, from some of the steps that you're taking in your life, you're, you're exactly where you need to be at this time as you're watching this reading. Now, a lot of times, and deja vu has been coming up quite a bit in my readings, I do feel some of you are experiencing deja vu and this is a way of your higher spirit letting you know and confirming with you you're exactly where you need to be because it feels very familiar when we go through that experience of deja vu like we've been here and done that right it's because you have so they're showing you that path so trust that everything is happening the way that it's meant to happen um, they're also showing up in your dreams here, spirit guides, your higher self. There's some communication that is happening through a, a mirroring of you in your dreams, in the dreamscape. Um, this is really interesting because what I'm seeing here is someone that is floating over their bed, actually looking at themselves, right? So this could be astral projection. This could be an outer body experience, whatever this is, but I'm seeing like, it's almost like this. It's someone that is laying and looking at themselves. So, um, very powerful stuff that is happening here. And this is all a part of your spiritual evolution, Libra. You are growing, you are ascending, and you're incrementally moving up in this frequency, this energy, this vibration. So you're moving upwards in that. And you're going to experience everything that is there with that frequency. So we've got a lot of changes that are happening incrementally in your life here, Libra. Little bits and pieces and joining of energies. These could be like also circuits in your mind that are joining and bridging, right? Um, neurons and different, different parts of your brain that are now starting to develop and uh, activate. So I'm getting DNA activation here as well with this. So that was coming through my last Chosen Ones readings. But I feel everything is intertwined and whatever is going on is all connected for you. Everything is connected and I feel that's almost uh, some of you are gathering some of the information um, throughout your life. This also has to do with a connection to your past self. Also a, a, a version of you from a parallel reality. Okay, so this is maybe why I'm getting mirroring, like a reflection of yourself or you looking at yourself. This could be a parallel reality where perhaps there was some sort of a connection that was made. So you're able to see yourself in that reality and vice versa. That version of you saw yourself in the other, right? So very weird and uh, fascinating stuff. I just, it's not necessarily weird, weird. It's just 
not something that you would normally see happen. And some of you out there might be thinking, what are you even talking about, Rhea? So everybody's at a different level, uh, a different part of our journeys here, everyone. And we're going to experience this High Priestess card um, in different ways, depending on where we are in our spiritual journey. So some of you might be noticing signs and communication coming in through spirit, your higher self, again, through dreams or through animals, sightings of your animal spirit, or perhaps there's an animal that's been following you around. So you might have seen, I don't know, like a fox that has been following you around. So you go outside, the fox is there. Uh, you see it outside the window when you're driving. Maybe you see another one that looks the same. It comes in your dreams. It's following you around. You see pictures of it, right? It's just there. So it doesn't have to be a fox. It could be something else. But I feel there's something there that's following you around. And I feel there's a message that is coming through that. Um, the meaning of whatever it is that you're seeing, the spiritual meaning behind it. So anytime you see these kinds of things happening, Libra, pull up the spiritual meaning on Google. Sometimes there's a lot of different meanings. Pick the one for that spirit animal or whatever it is that you're seeing that resonates with you the most in whatever, in whatever it is that you're experiencing, okay? And know there's a intertwining of your subconscious conscious mind. There's this almost awareness of uh, something happening there in that depth uh, within you, Libra. And what I'm also getting here is doubles, like some of you might be seeing doubles. That's been coming up for quite a bit of signs here today, but seeing uh, pairs, seeing people like twins, seeing twins or seeing doubles of the same car driving by, um, maybe even seeing something that you're wearing, another person wearing, so that's doubling up. And it could be doubles and then another pair of doubles. So it's really funny how I'm seeing this, almost like multiplying into things, right? Double, 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 double everywhere. I don't know what that is. I don't know if you're playing a game here, uh, Libra, but I'm seeing a lot of like round balls, doubles of these balls. These could be buttons, I don't know, because buttons have two holes. So this is really interesting how they're showing me this. And seeing the number 1111 on a clock, on a watch, on your cell phone is also coming through as um, a revealing of a message. They're letting you know that you're aligned to something here, Libra. Okay, there's some sort of an alignment that is taking place in the timing and um, experience that you're experiencing when you're seeing these numbers. Okay, so they're just wanting you to center yourself and just be aware of everything that is happening around you to disconnect from any kind of... Um, you know, thoughts and things that are overwhelming you or worrying you. you just, they just want to have you in this present moment because there's a lot that is being revealed to you through you coming into awareness of your surroundings. Okay, and Knight of Wands. Um, this is you actually taking an active role in your life, being a participant in the co-creation of your life. And what's happening is Spirit is actually showing you um, that through you implementing practices where you can align back with yourself, be in that present moment, you're going to see a lot of uh, progress forward and you're seeing a very clear vision. So what's happening is within all of this that's going on with you right now, Libra, we've got this energy that is wanting to move, that is wanting action from you, that is urging or calling you to do something. So some of you might be feeling like you need to do something. And perhaps you're holding back or you're unsure uh, for whatever reason. This could be because of fear or, you know, thoughts in your head, stories that you've made up in your mind here, Libra, whatever this is. But I feel there's something coming in that you're me meant to jump on and ride away with. Okay, so this has to do with freedom as well. So there's almost like this uh, open space. There is this, there's no template for this. Okay, I'm getting like a free space for you to be as creative as you want to do whatever it is that you want, to dabble in the things that bring you excitement, that bring you joy, right? And there's a lot of planning and strategy involved, organization and structure. So this has been coming up quite a bit in my readings this week is having a system, everyone. I feel Spirit is calling us to create some sort of a system, a ritual, a routine, a schedule in our lives. Um, and to really organize ourselves to understand, okay, this is what I'm meant to do every single day. This is how I'm going to streamline my workflow, just my full flow in general. And 
what happens is when we first start to implement organization in our life, it feels like an interference or a disruption to the life, the flow, the rhythm we previously had, right? So we have to allow ourselves some adjustment time as we're making these changes uh, that are going to disrupt our lives, right? But they're going to disrupt our lives in a way that is actually going to be good for us. So allow yourself to move through that change, go through that adjust adjustment period until you uh, develop this new rhythm and flow in your life, right? So with practice, discipline, you are going to find your way here and you're being placed in alignment with your purpose here. So things that weren't um, very clear to you before, things that may have been hidden that have been there all along are going to show up and surface for you. This is the moon's energy that is actually uh, illuminating areas of your life that you know that you have to work on, but now they're actually there in front of you and you're able to be like, okay, I see that now and now I can work on it. So these kind of things are going to happen and it's not easy when we're navigating our way through um, light being um, shined or our path being illuminated and all of a sudden things are surfacing, right? And it feels like we're a, a, a knight on a horse that's actually whacking away some of these things that are along our path. But that's what you're meant to do. You're, you are a knight on a horse, right? You have a wand to whack things out of your way, to um, work on them, right? So I, I feel spirit is really nudging you here to actually do some shadow work. Some of you are already working on your shadow parts, right? But I feel that some of us that haven't, these shadows are surfacing because they're wanting to be recognized. They're wanting you to work on them, right? And Spirit is flashing a light on it saying, okay, there it is. Let's catch that now. Let's, let's get rid of that out of our garden. That's a weed. That's a little bug or whatever it is, right? So this is what I'm getting here. And um, again, black horses, black stallions. I'm getting dark horse energy. Some of you may have gone through... Uh, the the oh my gosh what is this that's coming in it's the dark night energy that's coming but but there's something else i don't know if any of you sleepwalk i'm getting somebody that sleepwalks um i don't know why they're showing me a sleepwalk or maybe this is a confirmation for some of you that tend to get up and sleepwalk in the middle of the night um there's something there with that where a message is coming in is someone actually is able to see you sleepwalking Record some of the words and things that are coming out of your mouth, some of the things that maybe you're doing, because I feel within that there's something that is going on. You might not be aware of it because you're the one that's sleepwalking, some of you, or perhaps there's somebody in your home that sleepwalks. And uh, there's a message coming through that as well. So isn't that interesting? I find that very fascinating that they're showing me a sleepwalker. Um, Dark Night of the Soul is also here within this card. And... I feel for some of you, you're handling this dark night of the soul energy very well. It's tough, but you were built tough, Libra. So I feel that you're uh, managing, you're balancing things out the best that you can. And um, you're seeing yourself really pulling through whatever it is that you're going through and seeing yourself getting ahead. And things are settling. The dust is settling here because in your wake, there's been some dust that was kind of left behind here. So... It's, um, it's really interesting because everything's settling. Everything's working out is what Spirit is saying here for you. So that is the Knight of Wands. So what I'm going to do now is, and you know what they're saying and with it, within all of this, make sure you're taking care of yourself, your well-being. It is so important. I just feel there's so much that is going on for some of you um, that you need to take care of yourself. Make sure you're taking breaks, taking care of your wellness, your health, your mental state, mind, body, spirit, right? This all counts. And it's so, so important for you right now, Libra, to make sure you're taking care of your health, okay? So let's pull some, uh, pull a bonus card here from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck. I'm gonna read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So it comes with an Oracle message and a protection message. I'm going to read them both to you today. So we are getting for you, pig spirit, use your mind wisely. So if any of you are seeing pigs around you, this is your confirmation today. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now on your screen. So use your mind wisely. Libra, the number 47 here. So the pig here has a tutu and this pink little tutu on this uh, ballerina, uh, ballerina angel, right? So they're similar, pink. So pink might be a prominent color in your life right now. 
Um, those of you looking for timing, I'm getting 47 days and 47 hours around the message of this card. So the oracle message for you is, Pig Spirit appears to remind you of the right use of intelligence, a gift we all have that is meant to be used with love, compassion, and discernment. Intelligence means recognizing the value of intuition partnered with smarts and common sense, which leads to intelligent solutions. When sp Pig Spirit appears, you are called to respect your analytical mind and use it for the highest good recognizing that all facts must be considered even, even when they do not fit with what you already know. I'm getting slurring coming in, so I don't know why I'm picking up on a slur energy here. Spirit blesses us with wisdom when we allow pig spirit to nudge us into open-minded, thoughtful dialogues, whether with others or internally as we mull over our ideas and what we have come to understand. You are intelligent and capable of clear-minded thinking, Libra, shaped by the wisdom you have accumulated and the intuition that will tell you when you have more learning to do because not all facts are in. Now is a time that your decision-making powers are reliable, for you are in alignment with Pig Spirit's keen intelligence. The protection message for you is, are you ruminating? turning thoughts around and around in your head but not getting nearer to a decision or a solution. Pig Spirit is here to protect you from analysis paralysis. Let your mind rest now and allow your intelligence to mingle with mystery of intuitive guidance, releasing your right to hold on to facts and unsolved puzzles, whether it be a relationship or any other aspect of your life. In fact, now might be a good time to think about something else altogether and release your grip on needing to know. When your thought processes are muddied by fear and anxiety, allow pig spirit to lead you back to the right use of your natural intelligence. Okay, so take a break, relax, and release that ball of worry. Soon the smart choice will become clear to you. More facts may be needed, more digging for more information, and more questioning. When seeking to learn more, enjoy the process of using your thinking prowess. All the elements of your intelligence are reliably guiding you now once you've given your mind a rest. So it's your mind that may need rest at this time, but I feel it's your entire wellness here, Libra. All right, let's go ahead and pull an angel number for you. So those of you that are seeing angel numbers or repeating numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. We are getting having faith. They want you to walk the path of faith. They're wanting some of you to start having faith. So 0, 0, 0, 0, if you're seeing these numbers in this sequence, anywhere in your life, this is a confirmation of this message today. So they're wanting you to trust the process. Everything is coming full circle. Some of you might be feeling a, a, an energy of oneness, this feeling of oneness, wholeness. Know that right now you are bonding and you are merging to spirit and your higher self. Okay, so look at that. This is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and uh, thank you so much for watching.